What's going on players? Welcome to the next Android tutorial where we're going to start working with our shared preference uh, Java class here which is essentially our settings menu. Uh, so I'll, first what we got to do is set up our references. Um, we're just going to create a checkbox and we're just going to kind of uh, label these as like CB, pretty easy. Uh, we have an edit text as well, um, ET phone home and lastly what else do we have in there? Oh yeah, button. Uh, so we're going to set up our button real quick, call that B, and then we have to add all of our imports obviously, set our content view um, to our, our layout dot uh, settings class, or layout, whatever, and this checkbox doesn't want to go through for some reason, oh yeah, got to do a capital B there, so make sure you do that, and then CB, um, again, just a new checkbox, and set up all of our references. Again, if if you guys are just watching this 2.0 series and you never watch watch the 1.0 series, and you think I'm going kind of quickly or something, or you don't understand what we're doing, um, check out the 1.0 series because we'll uh, in that series I kind of explain what you know all, what we're doing here. But I think you're at the point now where you don't have to really know because you've done this so often. I don't really have to talk. I'm just going to babble. Um, and that's how it's going to kind of work. So again, if you guys are confused, um, make sure you check out the 1.0 series. So, uh, all right. All right. And now we're getting set up here. I'm also going to set our on click listener uh, to this and implement it for class. So we're, we're about in the danger zone. And we're uh, actually going to start working with the shared preferences. But again, we're just kind of setting up everything. Uh, the basic stuff that we've done so many times before. I'm going to try and format everything here um, for you. So when our button's clicked, we want to save all the information. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is use these other methods that we set up. Even though these methods aren't doing anything at the moment, we're going to set them up within our onClick method. So how we're going to do this is we're going to refer to our uh, save pref um, method. And I might have changed the the first letter if on um, the tutorial you guys probably just watched this might have been an uppercase I changed those to lowercase just for convention so people don't hate on me those trolls so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the method called save prefs and then we're gonna give it a key reference so for a checkbox we're gonna give it the title or the key checkbox and then what we're gonna do for the value is a boolean value so either true or false and it's gonna be true if that checkbox is checked and false if the checkbox is not checked. So we're going to refer to our checkbox CB and then we're going to say is checked and that will return a true or a false statement depending on whether our checkbox is checked when our button is pressed. Make sense? So all it's doing is it's passing on some information such as a title to our saved prefs method up here and also passing in whether the checkbox is checked or not. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to save the preference for our our edit text or a string. So again, we're going to refer to our other save prefs method and give it a different title. This will be the title of like our name or name, something like that. Uh, and then the information that we're going to pass on is from our edit text dot the get text. And again, two string. There we go. So again, all we're doing is we're passing in two strings for this method. So it's going to refer to you know this method here that has two string parameters, um, and it's going to give it the title of name and give it the information or the value of whatever is in our edit text. Now one other thing that we could do um, just because I don't want to get into the shared preferences yet um, we could just do another checkbox uh, is checked here that's gonna be a true or false statement and then we don't even need to put brackets if it's just one line of code so now when I format everything uh, this is basically an I don't know if you guys are still newbies or not, but uh, you don't need to put brackets if it's only one line of code with an if statement. So that's all that's going to do is check if the checkbox is checked. If it is, then we'll save some information to the title of name, and the information that we're saving is whatever is in the edit text. So that's kind of how that's going to work. Our onClick method is all set up, ready to go. Um, in the next few tutorials, or the next probably tutorial or two, We'll get done with the rest of this um, with our load preferences and actually develop our save preferences for both of these. So make sure you check it out because right now our app won't really do much uh, for the settings menu. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys. 
keep it real, and, uh, you know, live your dreams. For sure.